In this example, we're going to be solving percent equations, type 2 equations. A percent of unknown is B. Let's look at each example. 60% of what number is 15? Let's use our replacement symbols, set up our percent equation, and see if we can solve this. So 60% as a decimal is 0.60. Of is times what number is x? So instead of writing a times and x, I'm just going to write x. 0.60x is assumed to be times. Is is equals, and my number on the right-hand side is 15. I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.60. I want to get x by itself. So on the left-hand side, my 0 0.60s will cancel or reduce out because they're a common factor. 15 divided by 0 0.60 is 25. And let's do a very quick check here, just to be sure. So if we're saying that x equals 25, then 60% of 25 should equal 15. And if we multiply this on our calculator, we do indeed get 15. Second question, 25 is 12.25% of what number? So I have 25 equals, as a decimal, 12.25% is 0.1225 of what number is times x. I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.1225. 0 0.1225 on both sides. If I do that, I get x equals 25 divided by 0.1225 is 204.08. That's rounded to two decimals. If I do a check, when I multiply 0.1225 times 204.08, I should get approximately 25, and I get 24.9998, which is about 25, so we have a check. Part 3, 175% of what number is 325.16? So I'm going to write 175 as 1.75 of what number is times x equals 325.16. Divide both sides by 1.75. I'm going to want to get my x value by itself. If I perform that division on my calculator, I get 185 and 81 hundredths. If I do a quick check on that, I need to have 175, let's see, 1.75 times my result for x. And if I take that multiplication, I get approximately 325.16. I actually get 325.17, which is close enough for our check. Last one, 20 is 0.14% of what number? So 20 equals 0.0014x. And notice that sometimes we put the zero in front of the decimal and sometimes we don't. It just kind of varies. There's not really a rule. So I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.0014. So I get 1428. 5.71 equals x. And if I do a little check, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 0.0014, running out of room here, times 14285.71. And I should get about 20. And in fact, I do. So again, our numbers check.